Hey guys, Angry Beast here bringing you some domination gameplay on the map Convoy. I'm using the M16 here with the red dot and the silencer. My perks are Ghost, Warlord, and I believe Ninja. I only die once in this gameplay and my kill streaks are set really, really high. So this is just me playing defensive, trying to build up some kill streaks, having some fun. Um, this is the way to be successful in Black Ops. It's plain and simple. If you want to win in Black Ops, this is how to do it. Um, Ghost is one of those perks that's just going to always be helping you because... Um, basically, you really can't count on your teammates in this game. I don't have Ghost Pro, but uh, what Ghost does is it helps you if you're trying not to die. It helps you if your teammates are dying and giving enemy team kill streaks, and that's his main use for me. Because I don't plan on dying too much with this setup, uh, I, I'm using Ghost so that my teammates don't end up getting me killed. Um, I, I think that the red dot sight is important on the M16. Its sights aren't the best; um, they're not the worst though. So I mean, it's usable without it. So. Uh, you can go either way with the red dot slide on the M16, but I think the silencer is one of those attachments that's really, really good on the M16. It has the best range of all the assault rifles, and we combine that with the silencer, you lose very, very little with it. I pick up a golden Spaz 12 here, and God, does this thing look sexy. It's just awesome looking. I haven't actually seen the gold uh, Spaz 12 before, so it's just pretty cool to look at. I'm, if there's one gold gun I'd love to get, it would be that one. Um, I'm using a motion sensor here, and it actually comes into play quite a bit in this game. I, I drop it down right here. I use it to find this guy, and <laughs> he tries to noob tube me, and I just spaz 12 him out of his misery there. Uh, the noob tubes in this game really were balanced well. I think that all the noob tubes in all the Call of Duty should be like this. It was possible to get a kill with them. They weren't useless, but Flak Jacket was a perfect counter to them. And if you had a guy who was trying to rocket launch you or trying to noob tube you, whatever, you would just pull out your Flak Jacket class, and you would be completely invul invulnerable to him. My kill streaks in this game are the SR-71, the Chopper Gunner, and the Attack Dogs. I pick them all up once. I think I pick up a Blackbird twice. Don't don't quote me on that one though. Uh, I had my kill streak set high because I was just going for a nice long kill streak, a high scoring game with good KDR, which is what I love to do. I mean, I love getting those high scoring games. It makes you feel good, but uh, at times it can be very boring to watch and to play. I mean, at this point, I'm just like sitting here, like, okay, how many more until I get my SR-71 so I can play aggressive, but. I pick it up right there, and the SR-71 is one of those kill streaks that I love to see back, but I don't think is coming back. It was it was just such a good kill streak. It was usable no matter what class you were running. Just the fact that it showed everybody on the radar made it extremely powerful. Even if it was just a simple red dot on the radar, if, if it just blocked goat, if Ghost couldn't block it, I think it's one of those kill streaks that's just awesome. But you know. One of the things that I didn't like about Ghost is that I could see a person running, going five and ten, and losing. Uh, no, yeah, five and ten, and, and I pick up a SR-71 off of him, and he's invisible on it. And I mean, that would have been annoying. Um, the reason why I think Ghost is an okay perk, if you're planning, if you're a good player, then Ghost is a good perk because it, it you're not the one giving the enemy team the kill streaks. And this game I only die once, so it's impossible for me to give them any kill streaks. So uh, at this point, I pick up my dogs, and when I pick up my dogs, I just start to run crazy and try to kill people. That's the only de death of the game. I was hoping I could have picked him up with the Spaz 12, but it didn't happen. The chopper gunner here is a little bit boring. I may speed it up later if this commentary doesn't go quite as long, but it's one of those kill streaks that it's fun to use, but I'm not so sure about its balance. I mean, yeah, it's easy to shoot down, uh, but no one on this team had like Ghost Pro, so I, I don't really get too many kills with it because everybody hides in a building. It's one of those kill streaks that just takes you out of the action, and I go back and forth whether I like this or the Rolling Thunder better. But they're both really, really good kill streaks. I believe they're both nine kill streaks, and the Rolling Thunder is generally better for a situation where you just want to get people off of a flag, you know. In a demolition, you combine that with a napalm strike, and you pretty much have the, the bomb plants secure for the entire round because it can just devastate people. Uh, I think it can actually destroy people through buildings, and that's his whole point. And on a map like Nuketown, you can get easily up to eight kills with it, and it, it's a lot of fun to use the Rolling Thunder, but I think the Chopper Gunner is an overall better kill streak just because it gives you the more... Uh, high up view. I mean, it has more potential, but it's also easier to, to destroy. I mean, you can't destroy a destroy a rolling thunder. So there's some disadvantages and advantage to each. When using the M16 on this map, uh, you definitely want to play defensive. Rushing with the M16 is never a good idea, especially on a larger map like Convoy. Um, I, I'm lucky that I don't have to push the flags. My teammates were doing that very well. So what I do for the rest of this game pretty much is protect the sea area around here. And uh, some people might call this camping. I say no. I'm protecting the C flag because their, their team starts to flank once they realize they can't cap the B flag. And that's generally what happens on this map. The B flag, once it's secured, is rarely seen to be captured because 
uh, it's just very easy to shoot people off of it. You got overwatches from the both the overpasses and the underpass. You can shoot people up through the underpass, and it's easily grenaded. So I say that the B flag is one of those flags you always have to protect. Um, I'm using Warlord here, and Warlord is a toss-up between that and Slate of Hand on the M16. Slate of Hand's a good perk, don't get me wrong, but I don't feel like the M16 needs it if you're playing defensive, because you're not going to be in those close-quarter situations where, uh, where Slate of Hand's going to really, really help you out. Uh, right there, the enemy's called in a spy plane, and that's that's why I use Ghost. I have only died once in this game. I don't deserve to show up on the radar. And I think if the UAV showed up... Uh, acted a little bit different if ghost acted a little bit different i think that ghost sh should only work if you're going positive so if i'm going positive and the enemy team calls in a spy plane i don't show up if i'm using the ghost perk instead of just becoming invisible it allows me as a good player to use the perk and be invisible to it but if i'm a bad player and i and i and i'm using the perk it doesn't help me at all i think that'd be a good balance between uav and uh, assassin but you know, it all comes down to the fact that this game is very, very, very stealth oriented. Uh, the silencers are rule because there's just very little else to use. Uh, the assault rifles with the silencers have the same range, or uh, actually better range than the submachine guns. And the M16 is has the same range as all the other assault rifles with the suppressor. So you don't really lose anything if you've been using the G11 or a AK-47 when you put a silencer in the M16. And that's what makes it one of the best assault rifles in the game. Its ability to one burst kill out to, uh, I believe, 50 meters without a silencer and 35 meters with the silencer is insane. Um, I think my secondary in this game is the Python with the Speed Reloader, and I go back and forth between the Speed Reloader and a, and a Dual Wield. I think that the Speed Reloader is better for a weapon that you're playing defensive with, like the M16, but if I'm using an aggressive weapon like the AK-74U or the AK-47, then I'll, I'll use the Dual Wield because I'll be in those situations where I need the fast kill more than I need accuracy and a little bit better range. Now, um... The Red Dot site is one of those things where I don't know how effective it is with the other site reticles. I've never really messed with that customization thing. Customization has never really been my thing. I just do whatever I need to and I, I just basically put the default stuff on. I never mess around with the face paint. I just feel it just takes time out of my time to play because I am limited to an hour of a, a day of play time. So I, I don't usually mess with that stuff, but with the Red Dot site, I think the blue dot with the green lens is what I prefer. I just forgot to set it up because this was a last minute class that I was using. And it's a class that's very useful on almost any map. The only map that I really wouldn't recommend it on is Firing Range and Nuketown. Even though Firing Range, it could be a very useful class. Uh, but the game is winding down. I think we triple cap him here in a minute. And it just goes to show that playing defensive in Black Ops is how you win. If you want to win in Black Ops, play defensive, put on a Ghost class, and just build up your kill streaks. If you can build up your kill streaks, you can make people quit. And uh, when people quit, generally you'll get worse players in the lobby, and they won't know exactly what's going on. And I use a nice dolphin dive tactic there to get out of the way of the guy shooting me. And the game ends here, so hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Angry Beast, and uh, this game was 21 and 1 with the M16. This is actually a record for KD for me, but I hadn't played Black Ops in a while, so hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Angry Beast, and I'm signing out, and I will catch you guys in my next video.